All right, it's time to dodge and burn. In my last course, I showed you how to do so with the curves adjustment tool or layer. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it with the um, the gray, I would say, layer. So first, uh, go ahead and create a new layer, and I'm um, going to fill it with gray. So the way I do it is actually uh, create a new layer. I press Command and A to select everything, and then press M, right click, and then fill. I'm pretty sure there is another way of doing this, but I just got so used to uh, you know the shortcuts just quickly. So Command or maybe Control on a PC, and then A. So Command A, press M, right click, fill, and that's it. Done. Let's see if it's actually available here. Yeah. So it's edit, fill, and then 50% gray, so on forth. I really recommend that you just get used to the shortcuts. So it makes things just easier, faster, and uh, make you a happier person in life. Okay, well, that was just a joke. Um, all right, so now that we've filled the layer with 50% gray, I'm going to select the brush and I'm going to drop it really low. So about 4%. Now need, you need to do, understand the basics. Now if I brush with a wide brush, or let's just increase that just to show you that what's going to happen. You see, um, you kind of uh, really dodged out the hell out of the photo. And if you uh, basically switch the palettes to a black, it's going to burn. All right, easy, right? All right, so back to about four percent, and I'm going to switch it to white brush, and I'm going to brush away. So areas like this, this is really nice. It has a pattern, it has sort of uh, something that we can show out of the McLaren, this area down here, and this area down there or up there. Of course, the rims, this area, this area down here as well, and a bit to the front, and these uh, edges, I would call, and the wheels. All right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. So let's start with here first. So I just want to get the details out. Not too much, not to the level that it would look a bit fake. Just a, a touch, and that's why we have it at 4%. Okay, I'm going to continue. Even 4% sometimes sounds like too much. Okay, that's cool. So let's just see quickly the before and after. Very subtle, but very, very effective. Oops. Okay. I'm going to do the same to this plate. I hope it wasn't just too much. Alright. Well, you don't have to do it, but uh, I usually do it for my cars. Toys. Alright, here's a, a really nice trick. What you can do is get the pen tool. It's quite a bit hard on the edge down here. And um, just going to select the edge that one put. Right, so and next selection. Okay. Now with the uh, brush, just going to go over the edges. Just like so. 
So before, after. Yeah, that's working out well. I guess so. I know there's a bit of details down here that we can uh, bring out. I could do the same for the light, but uh, things slip pretty nicely. Let's do one for the door. edges of the door. There's subtle touches that adds up to the image. Really. And you'll see that once we're done editing this photo. Well, I shoot with the A7R2, uh, that's about 42 megapixels, so amount, the amount of details that I have is just... Wow. You know what I mean? I used to shoot with the A7S. That wasn't really a good choice for pictures with only 12 megapixels, especially for those who edit their photos in Photoshop and would like to get more out of uh, the pixels, just like so. Now, you can always speed up the, uh, you know, the, the, the playback of this video from the Udemy's course, so you don't get you know, bored to death. Otherwise, if you're enjoying this, and just continue watching at normal speed. Just about there. Ooh, wow. Okay. Back. And uh, let's just do pass on this side of the oh, no, I didn't like that. Oh, no. So. Let's put that down. Just one percent. I don't want, like, a huge shift. Because we're going to add contrast. And, um, that will add up see that's cool yeah, that's really cool well, let's put it back to what was it five percent or four four percent well, we might have to increase this once we reach the rems which is right now I'm going to do the same thing with the rems Sure, you don't brighten the dark areas a lot. Dodging and burning is usually brightening, brightening up the uh, that's what I have to say. Um, the uh, light areas and darkening the dark areas. Again, it's all about contrast. Selective contrast. I like that. I wish they just created a plugin for this. I don't have to oh, that's bad. do this over and over again. Right, you know, let's just do Oops. Yeah, I know probably be thinking I mean you can do that with um, the pen tool let's just make a, a bigger brush size and then just like brush over 
But with the pen tool, this is going to take ages. Now, it's not a bad thing. But, I think it's going to take a lot of time. I just as well just do it this way. We use a very soft brush, a bit soft brush, and um, that works pretty well. Ah, it's a bit. I see that from a distance. Here. And here. And there. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to burn. I kind of like what I'm seeing in there. Not too much. Just one pass. Two. Good. Alright, this area, this is quite a big area. I'm just going to. Now, this side. How cool is that? Mm. Right, for the front one, I'm just going to use a big brush. It's kind of blurry. Was the zoom factor? I was at F8, 14 miles. Yeah, that's fine. Do we need to, uh, do we need to dodge in any place? Oh, I can see a brush in me. This is why you should not wear yellow shirts while going after a shoot. Now, I've, uh, in my previous course, I show you really how to get uh, reflections, and I don't think we need to go over this in this course. This course is just about the look as much as I can. The urge to edit the photo and remove my reflection. I'm not going to. Around here, but. Hey, awesome. Okay, we're done. I'm not going to burn either. Uh, anything. I kind of like it this way. It's a black car, really. Uh, burning elements of the, a black car can be very tricky. Oh, I see. Just do that anyway. Um, uh, just for certain parts of these edges. Thank you very much. Here and here. Switch back to that. Yep. Yeah, I'm, hmm. you can burn around this area at the top. You can use the pen tool for it. That's nice. We are. We are using a self brush and a really low flaw or flow, sorry. Flaw? Seriously? <laughs> I don't think I can, can speak properly today. Alright, um, that looks really, really well. That's it for the dodge and burn.